This is the theme of Setback and Misery. Paul burns his book, Select Frames. And of course, there's that look that he gets, uh, that he gives, and, and he knows that there's no other choice but to do it. And he doesn't have anything to say or speak or anything like that. No accusatory language or anything. He just does it. He lights the match. And then he throws the match on top of the book. And then it burns. And the interesting thing about the dynamic of him just doing it, here it is, uh, the publisher and the agent represent Annie in the same way. Just do it. We don't want a new book. We only want the Misery series. Burn this other book that you are talking about. Sure, you want to be serious. You can do that on your own time. But right now, we need to focus on the Misery book. And that's why I say Annie really is no different than the agent from the agent and and the agent and then by extension the publisher right because the publisher may not be as willing to uh market and sell the new book if there isn't a record um paul has a record of doing well writing and selling books but the book itself doesn't have a record of doing well inside and and writing and uh doing well in terms of marketing and selling books only the misery series so this push for him to to get rid of his book um burn his book from annie is again no different from the publishers who don't understand that your talent can transition into something else right it could be the same genre in terms of writing sort of horror movies or something like that or suspense movies not movies, but um, novels. But once they get pigeonholed, once publishers pigeonhole you into one type of thing, they honestly don't want to hear about anything else. It's what people say about anyone who wants to enter the film industry. What type of films are you writing in terms of script writing? Is it horror? Is it um, film noir? Is it suspense? Um, comedy or something like that that whatever whatever your portfolio looks like they usually hire you based upon that and they want to only pigeonhole you for that and if you come in saying well i write drama but i really like to uh write comedy they don't know how to place you and so the same can be said here that um he has been pigeonholed into writing the misery series and giving uh, advance money every time because they know it's a winner and so this book that you see here is not a winner and he's sort of being punished for going his own way and 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 Annie is like the agent of punishment you know like your mother takes out a switch or a belt or something like that and spank your bottom to get you back on track and so uh, Annie is surprised how um, how much the fire sort of gains more oxygen i don't know why she would be surprised about that um she did pour a lot of lighter fluid on it and then the book is being burned is 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 burned untitled so remember he didn't give it any purpose anyway so why should it really matter that the book is burning well it matters because he wrote it he did all that he could to to uh, pour himself into something new. And now, in many cases, he's being punished for it. And so, again, it gains more oxygen. The flames are flying up uh, in the air, and so it's hard to contain. So even when you shut something down, um, as much as you think you can contain the energy that is evoked from it, um and shutting something down it has a mind of its own it has a has an energy has a um a philosophy of its own it's like parts of it are getting away from her when in in reality she probably thought that once it was contained in this one um barbecue pit that it would be contained all together and not necessarily fly off right but she's surprised that it actually does that and so then we see the pain in his eyes 
right? Because if you think about missed opportunity, the seven stages of setback, missed opportunity, he's missing his opportunity to understand who he's dealing with, or he's missing his opportunity to plan the transition from misery to writing more serious work. He's just abruptly killing off misery, which abruptly affects his fan base. So that missed opportunity and maybe not turning one of the books into a film or something like that. And then the punishment is for him to have to now have his book burned, right, in a sense, and the pain that he feels in his uh, eyes. So then she's going to go take him through a correction process. We're going to get you back on the right path. And that's when she's going to create the writing studio for him to to um, bring misery back to life that he killed her through childbirth misery chastain the character of the series but she wants him now to bring her back to life so then this is going to cause him to, to sort of tap into all of his creative juices and so again she's still tussling um or tussling with this book this old philosophy this old um, um, idea that didn't even get a chance to be introduced to the world, that she cut it off before it can even have any effect, that she doesn't want Paul to be known for anything else other than misery. That's what he signed up for, that's what he needs to endure, and that's what he needs to do to the day he dies. And that this untitled book is a different philosophy that should have no place in the world. So she's still tussling with them. And the one who burned his book doesn't get the the advantage of tussling with it in order to maybe save it. And so then she figures out that she's gonna have to take it out of there, uh, but it's still um, too much for her to handle. And so then she brings in a bucket of water and he looks at his own book uh, being burnt, his his whole, the just the hope of something new, you know, it's like a person who finally finds the one, and they want to, the person wants to marry uh, that woman or that man, live life, the rest of their lives with them, but then one of the, one of the, uh, um, members of the couple ends up dying in a crash or something like that. And the hope, the energy that you gave to the hope of of being in a relationship and living the rest of your life with that person, that hope is gone now. And how, how in the world are you going to rebuild from there? What is, uh, how is he going to rebuild from a burned book? And Annie is forcing him to do so, and he understands that he has basically no other choice to do so other than die. But it's a testament to his talent, that the talent can still transition, even if to go back and uh, bring back to life something that he killed, that he just tap, taps into his mental faculties, taps into his talent, and use it to keep him to even keep himself alive then now this is really a survival of the fittest or i don't know if I, I like that term survivor that he's in he's surviving his setback now Every, everything else was just a lead up to this moment of when he's going to have to rewrite that book and so now he has to um switch gears and keep himself alive because she already said if i die you die and so that's already out there and that's already something that he is thinking about. So looking at that is looking at his hope dying. And people with talent know how to tap back into their talent and begin to build again. But in the moment, you are so helpless. You are so vulnerable. You are so hopeless. You just don't know where to go from there. All right, like, subscribe, and visit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for more discussions. You can visit my YouTube channel for further film analysis. It's Favorites Film Analysis as the title of the channel. Uh, you can always send me an email and ask me a question, reginawhyfavorites at yahoo.com. 
My Overcoming Setback, Five Keys for Entering and Exiting Correction book uh, will become available around October 2021. I'm still doing some editing. The book does not focus on film analyses, but I use uh, the content that, that I created for the book to support my um, my perceptions of setback used as a theme in select films. So when the book becomes available, I will send out a notification video audio. Um, thank you very much for visiting the channel.